So we're back on the uh, orange restroke extension job. That was us last week, last Sunday. Walked to DPC in Commons. <sighs> Mr. Buddy Cross joint. Somebody asked me in the comments this week if we ever miss any joint south hole. Uh, yep. Floors in. Some boards for us to work off. Obviously this side's got to be over hand because of the fence. Alex just loading us out with wet block because it's raining that bloody much. <coughs> First job. I've got my profile up. Just need to put that back into position. We need to get our stickers on there. Yeah, anyway, got to grind this up. There's a pencil mark there. And then rip the insulation off. The whole lot's coming off, so we don't have to be careful. We don't need this other line. Grind up, rip it off, drill in for our bluebird ties, and put up straight to the concrete. And then the plan is to build this, up, this side up first. We'll get a profile on every corner. And then another intermediate over there. And then because it's on someone's house we can leave the profiles up. So, so first job is get this cut back and knocked off. Because it's not looking good. It's not full, it's good either. No, we'll just have to take it as it comes. We, it did have a tent set up but the winds destroyed it overnight. I'll insert a picture of that which is a shame because it's a nice little uh, shelter we have there. It's just too windy. So it's going to carry on plodding along with the blocks. Yep. Stacking them in threes like that. Let the air get through them. Now, I noticed on a lot of other videos Everyone else stacks the blocks flat, which I don't understand because your block's flat. First thing you gotta do with your block is pick it up and then do what you have to do with it. But they're stacked vertically, they're ready to go. Plus, also, that's an extreme way, but that's how we normally stack them. So you've got the air going through them and you dry out a lot quicker than if they're stacked flat. So that's just a quick one, that's the way we do it. Yeah, not flat, always stood up. So we'll get this thing cut out now. doing? I'm filming. Say hello. What are you filming? Uh, this shithole. <laughs> Welcome to the BWSAA nerve centre. Well because we got on each other's nerves. <laughs> oh, It's wet. It's a wet Saturday morning. Well half eleven. It's currently Just had a long break, which morphed into a dinner time. I was just finishing this because it keeps raining. We had a shelter built on this one. 
that blew away at three o'clock this morning. It was just in a heat when we got here this morning. Would have been handy, but it's too windy. So we've got loaded out. Uh, we've cut the pebble dash back, pulled all the insulation back where the walls are going, marked us up, um, marked out for the tyres, drilled for all our bluebird tyres each side, up to as high as we can reach. I've put an intermediate in one side, that's as far as we've got. Alex has loaded out, got beam, beam filling through across the front, and then two full height walls either side. Uh, the left hand side comes round to a door. So it's just a one block pillar, French doors, dwarf wall, and then another high wall at the other end. So it's a bit of block work across the front, two high walls, with um, pipes going back to the house. So as soon as this rain goes off, it's forecast to go off in about an hour, about 12, 1 o'clock. So we're just going to sit it out and then get a mix in and get, up, get done what we can this afternoon. Because it's in the garden, we can put the profiles up and leave them. And get a profile up in each corner. Intermediates against the house. Externals on the corners. And that'll get us right up to about two metres, I think. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's crap. Oh yeah, we're using fibre lights. Very light, but very strong. Um, cavity insulation, 75mm cavity to save on space. Um, what else should we talk about? We got any news? Um, got up to scaffold height in our house, which is a bit strange, it's not really scaffold height. Got up to joist height. I've, probably, I've mentioned this in the video, but we've got up to joist height. All the block works up, brick works up, but now we have to go five courses past. So basically the joiners have got to bring everything over the top, put the joist in, board it, and then we've got to beam fill off the joist, off the floorboards. Whereas you used to be able to just do it off the scaffold, like waist height. Now it's all on your knees down, you've got to try and point it up and it's, it's going to be hard work. And it's going to be our booming the block work over with the with the JCB because there's brickwork in the way now because you're down in a dip. I think it's to try and do away with the lift of scaffold. They do say it's for joiner safety, but I think it's more about the uh, doing away with the lift. So this will be an interesting one. Um, it won't be much different for us. We've only done one before. Uh, at the moment. We're waiting for scaffold, so we're going to be we're staying on this job till it's done. Uh, turn the key. <laughs> yeah, it's pouring down again now. Yeah, we've got um, three, maybe four garage conversions coming up. A big pointing job, but I doubt I'll film that. Um, I've been to price a big steel's job, but I'm waiting for engineering drawings for that to price it properly. What else did I go and look at the other day? A bit of a patch job in a garage. And a conservatory in Southport. We'll have to see you then. Got a fence job to do in the spring. I think that's it. Oh yeah, it's Halloween today. So we're going to our daughter, going to our daughter's, going to my daughter's, Alex's sister's for a party tonight. Should oh. we tell them that? It's not allowed, are we? Yeah, no, I'll say that. I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cut! Cut!
disappointing day where they got the best of us again and so what I'm saying here which you can't hear because I've got my finger over the bloody microphone and the camera is that um, Alex got halfway along doing the beam filling while I was working on the wall and I was just stood there for some reason and noticed there was no damp course so there's no damp course under the joists and obviously nothing under the brickwork so we had to take all the brickwork out and really struggle but that's done anyway got five course on that wall got the return on got the dwarf wall height up and I spent an hour or so getting all the cuts done when we come back tomorrow's Sunday not sure if we're coming back or not tomorrow because the weather's meant to be a bit crap again so probably aiming for Monday and get get properly stuck into it Monday there's all our gear so next day we get a good crack at it and make a bit of a dent in it catch you later Right, Monday, 10 o'clock, after our rubbish, um, what day was it? Saturday? Anyway, we had a rubbish, yeah, Saturday, we had a rubbish day Saturday, probably half a day we got in. Got the first four on there, first two on there. So there's our dwarf wall, there's our high wall. I've just started on the corner now, this insulation's crap. French doors, now it's just on the other side on the uh, intermediate profile and here's our new brake stabilizers for the profiles they beefed them up a bit
rest of this crap in the roof. Where is it? It's all up in the shed. Oh. All of it? Yeah, the open pack. Can I have a bluebird please when you get a second? No rush.
few pieces that are cut there, mate. that end done. I can't really nail my button up like I normally do that end. So I'm just going to have to build it freehand. Um, Alex is on with this side. As soon as he's done we'll get that backed up. Once he's got the scaffold out there he can hop in and run this in. We can't, we've got to get the corner up first. It's all a bit cramped at the moment. Straightforward but awkward at the same time. So I'll put it on time not so long running this back in this wall up now. <clears throat> So while I'm, while Alex is getting that last course on there, we need a corner building, but it's all pieces in the corner. 
down there, it's all fiddly. So I'm currently getting the cuts done. So I'll just time lapse this bit. No one wants to sit watching cuts for 15 minutes. Right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight on that side. Seven on the outside. I'm just going to run this in as soon as I get the corner up. That's the front finished. I'm going to put this, get this all the corner up now. All the cuts are done. You've probably seen them on the time lapse. Get that done, and then we we'll get eight on there. Hopefully before the rain. This rain comes in. Alex is just getting the trestles and the planks in out the van, ready to go up there. What he needs to do is bring him in one at a time. <laughs> so I'll time lapse this bit again. So. Uh, just um whatever time lapse it That's it, that's the internal corner done. Run most of it by hand. Because we can't really nail the button up there. There's nowhere to fix the profile to. So we've got a uh, nine on that one. So we've got that left. It's nearly three o'clock, so job and knock on the motor. I'm gonna carry on running in, Alex is gonna get that them planks loaded up. Fresh battery usually runs out about now. So, side up, backed up, trestles up, loaded, well, partially loaded. Um, just use the motor up on that door for backing that up. And this side's done too. Up seven, took the inside up eight, and just propped it. It's a bit Wind's getting a bit windy. 
so it's coming along nicely. Proper full day at it. Second full day at it. So I'm quite pleased with that. A um, couple of hundred block I think we've done. Which isn't bad on such an awkward little job. So see you tomorrow or whenever we are next.